Fish Tank people, FishTankTV.com, Dawson's Fish Tanks bringing to you on a Tuesday, baby. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. So it's Tuesday, it's a top three Tuesday. I've been on a catfish kick recently. Here come your top three tank busting catfish. That's right. Now look folks, I got a 220 gallon aquarium behind me. You're not going to see me put any of these fish in this tank or any of my tanks anytime soon because they just get too freaking big. That doesn't mean they aren't awesome and we all have made some mistakes and bought some fish that were too big that we wish we had not down the road. So let's talk about some tank busting catfish, shall we? My number three tank busting catfish, saw this thing of Myers on Tiffin Avenue, Finley, Ohio back in the 80s. Iridescent shark, also known as the Pangas cat, something like that, out of Miramar, India, China area from the Mekong River. You know what else comes from Mekong River? The Mekong catfish, which is related to this catfish, is the largest fish, probably the largest freshwater fish in the world, if not one of them. So yeah, iridescent shark sold this big. Look, they look cool, all right? They kind of school together a little bit. They got the bottom pointy uh, anal fin. They look sweet. They got the bulging eyes like the pointy head. You don't want to keep this fish, right? I've seen them in like, uh, I don't know, the Planet Tide place here in Lexington. has one like this big, and it quickly grew to this big in their uh, display aquarium at their restaurant. Ultimately should not end up in your aquarium. And I think they're being sold irresponsibly into the hobby. But the Pangas cats, the iridescent sharks, whatever, not number three fish. My number two. Now the difference between my number one and number two is very, very slight. So this was a hard one to make my number two. My number two tank busting catfish is the tiger shovel nose catfish. Ooh yeah, right? Tiger shovel nose. Why do I love this fish? Because I've seen them in Peru, okay? Love them. They got the long, slender body. They got the cool little feelers out. They just, they're just a slick looking fish, man. They got the stripes. They got the, the spangler. And uh, where they're from in the river, we caught them. Uh, by the way, I was using a fishing pole. They were using a, The crew was using a piece of string with a little piece of wood on it and a hook, and that was it. And they were out fishing me. Shocker. Anyway, uh, they come from like the faster moving parts of the stream, so they're very like slender, and they've got this massive mouth on them. Their mouth opens up real wide, about half the length of their body, if you will, and they just go, whoop, and they just start sucking in stuff and just tear up food and uh, are just awesome. So you can see this photo here where they are on the market. Now think about this. These are a fish that, you know, if you get paid by how big a fish you don't you want to find the biggest fish possible? Tiger shovel nose are one of those fish that the fishermen down in Peru go after and try to get a uh, really nice, huge, like big body. Uh, great. You can see a photo here. This is my hand against one of the heads of these fish to show you the size of them. So tiger shovel nose, my number two tank busting catfish and my number one numero uno tank busting shouldn't have in your tank but we've all been there we've all made mistakes my number one the red tailed catfish folks oh my goodness all right this story starts back in about 1998 when my boy david jolly had a big aquarium he had a 75 gallon and he had it stacked with six what happened? One day we went to the Pet Supplies Plus on uh, Tiffin Avenue in Finley, Ohio before it got moved down the way. Saw a red-tailed catfish sitting there. Who doesn't want a red-tailed catfish? It'll go good with cichlid, sure. Brings old Big Red home, puts it in his tank. What does it do? It goes through and methodically through the night, ate about half of his cichlids, including a breeding pair of Managuense or Jaguar cichlids or whatever. To add insult to injury, this lovely little catfish went and then puked them all up so he could see the remains of uh, the fish Fish didn't even digest them all. So, uh, you know, kid's way too big, ate half of this fish. The story doesn't stop there. Then when I was at Ohio University, not Ohio State, um, I actually grabbed one of these out of a pet store, uh, I think in West Virginia, red-tailed cat about this big. It quickly grew to this big in my 125, my, my boy's 125, actually, now it's mine. But grew this big, ended up getting uh, delegated to a solo tank. Something happened late night, it ended up underneath the aquarium. Not really sure what happened, but regardless, it was on a war path and it was getting huge. Look, red-tailed catfish, they're from the Amazon as well, get ginormous. They look great when they're younger. Um, when they get bigger, they're obviously not as attractive. You see the large lumbering ones in all kinds of like you know public aquariums or whatever. They just get too big. Look, folks, I've had dreams about this fish, all right? I had a dream that like they had, like, instead of the red, it had a blue. Like That actually happened. Amazing looking, cool. I mean, they got like the cool swimming motion or whatever, but they got the monster mouths that can tear up stuff. I mean, look, it's fun to watch these fish eat stuff. I'm not going to lie, but... Tank busters for sure, okay? Those are my top three tank busting catfish on a Tuesday. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe because I'm going to be hitting you twice a week a lot in 2016. Everybody make it an awesome week and tank on. Later!